we're finally moving up. So we're heading towards Mandra. We're staying at a caravan park for five nights because it's going to be absolutely scorching for like three days straight. It's going to be in the 40s and we want an aircon. We're going to be hanging around Perth for a while because we've decided to send the dogs back home. I know it's shit. We are upset about it. We wish we could do it with the dogs, but yeah, we've come to realize that it's just too hard. We got a quote for 1300 bucks. We're still waiting on another few quotes to come back. It's gonna hang around Perth, just so we send them back, then we're gonna start punching it up north. So, yeah. I'm excited to go to Mandra on another note. So we set up at the Mandra two, between two sisters. <laughs> you wish part between two sisters. <laughs> um, two water, twin waters or something. So we just set up a twin waters caravan park and Look, for 50 bucks a night, I don't like it. Uh, it's just, yeah, you're like on dirt, it's not level, a bit tight. And they say you're in between two waters, but you can't even see the waters unless you drive like 10, 15 minutes. Uh, for 50 bucks, I feel like we can get into a nicer place, but we just couldn't. Not everywhere had five nights available. But anyways, we set up, we're going for a fish. Probably go for some tailor or salmon. It's pretty overcast. From what I've seen on the YouTube channel, on YouTube videos, overcast is probably the best way. I don't know. We'll see how we go. I'm going to fish with bait. Put it the side here. So I'm going to with the hard body. Oh. Yes, I'm on. Who's that? Mm. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, I got something. I don't know, I think it's like a cod, like a rock cod or something. Yeah, come on. This is a bit bigger. Yeah! There's salmon. Oh. Okay. That is. So I pulled the pin on fishing again. It was getting a bit dark. I didn't have my head torch on me, and I've got to put a sinker on the second time because I lost my bait and my hook and my sinker. And then when I rejigged it. Just I tied it up without my fucking sinker, so I just kept fishing and it was too hard because that little wave at the front there just kept I couldn't tell where my bait was and it kept pushing my bait in. So don't worry, we're here for a week. I'll definitely be back. Oh, 
All right, so we just came to Mazda to check out what's wrong with my seat because it's just not moving back and forward because Kayla's so short. My knees are pretty much in the engine bay, so I'm just waiting for the manager to come out. He said it could be as simple as a fuse, so let's hope that's what the issue is. And it was a fuse, so I paid 40 bucks for a fuse. I need it done. Couldn't find the fuse. And I don't know why it says window on the seat. On the docket, I mean. It is what it is. I know for next time when that happens. So we're just on our way to go get a weight distribution hitch. Weight dis distribution hitch. I found one on Marketplace for 150 bucks. Now I've been looking for one for ages. For you that don't know what what it is, it's just a like a different tow ball, tow hitch, and these bars that go from your the tow hitch to the van, and it just levels out your van a bit more with your car because at the moment I'm dipping in the middle so I want to fix that problem just so it's not it's all the weights not at the back so yeah hopefully it's the right one this is the longest I've had the awning up for since I've been on the road a little bit of strong wind last night but nothing to the point where I'm like oh maybe I should bring it in which has been great I'm loving it so hopefully the weather continues like that Spearing. so that weight distribution bar or hitch that I bought is the wrong one size difference absolutely spewing now I'm going to try resell this thing lug it around oh I'm burning alrighty so today we're heading towards Fremantle we're going to get the dogs groomed give them a bit of a spruce up it's going to be good to be dog free for a couple of hours we can actually go sit down have a meal, relax, go into the shops without stressing for a couple of hours. So I'm excited about that. While we're waiting for the dogs to get groomed, we thought we'll bring them down to a dog beach. So this one's called Fremantle, what? North Fremantle Dog Beach. It's pretty cool. It's a nice little area. We just pulled up somewhere in Fremantle and we're gonna go get some lunch. First time since we've been on the road that we can actually sit down at a restaurant and eat and our dog's being so antisocial just made it a bit hard but we're gonna soak this up as much as we can just got to the Mandra Giants finally we've been looking for them for ages but they're not that easy to find because Google Maps doesn't take you to the right spot but anyways we're finally here and I want to see what it's all about Google review says it's a must see so yeah I'll show you these once we're in there so the Giants are just there behind me you can just see one right there let's go get a closer look at them so the Mandra Giants are like recycled timber sculptures and they're like ages apart so first one to the second one's like I think Kayla what was it like two K's or something like that yeah but whatever it is it's a long walk lucky for us it's an overcast day which is good it's not that hot it's nice it's warm but it's not hot like you're not not dying but yeah so I don't know where the next one is but we'll show you
it's been about 15 minutes and we still haven't seen the second giant yet I don't know how many giants there are and yes we're thirsty <laughs> I don't know why they just don't put them all together save the hassle so, anyways we walked about 51 minutes past the giants I meant to walk the opposite way from what we started so this must be the last giant or the first giant and they must go that way we walked back that way keep that in mind folks when you see this bloke you walk yeah to his left so we walked to the giant's right we meant to walk to his left oh my legs are killing me my groin my hammies <laughs> Kayla's over it she's like we've seen one that's enough need to show you guys though I need water and a rest because he still wants to find the giants oh. they all look the same we've walked this far might as well keep walking till we actually see them they're probably just doing a different pose they probably are but still i really hope we find it i don't want to hear that negativity just we're gonna find them they're giants how hard could they be to see you know what i mean i just don't know why they didn't put them close together i don't get it or signs or something We decided to turn around and go back to the car because we walk, walked one and a half kilometers and still no sign of a giant. So we've been walking for like two hours, probably over two hours now. My calves are starting to burn a little. So I'm like, you know what, let's just go back, do some research and find where they actually are. Alrighty, so we just left Twin Waters Caravan Park. Um, what can I say about that place? It was good to have 240 volt and water and all that. It was good, but was the caravan park worth 50 bucks a night? I don't think so. I don't reckon. Uh, but I think that's just the going rate for everywhere now. Like, there's some even 60, 70 bucks a night, which is kind of ridiculous. And plus, there's not much free camps in this area. From Mandra all the way to past Perth, there's no free camps. There's overnight stays, but no free camps. Not even 48 hour stays like there were in Brun uh, Bunbury. So that's made it challenging. Uh, Mandra is a nice place. We haven't done much because we've just been so busy with other stuff work, taking the dogs to get groomed. We're going to see if we can book into a caravan park or something like that just until we get the dogs on the plane sent back home. Let's see how we go. We just got to the Rockingham Caravan Park. It is a shit day, it's raining. It's not cold, but it's just raining, just spitting. And this is our setup so far. We did have a bit of trouble with setting up because power box is so far away from where I need it and this big tree was just in the way so I had to keep moving back forth finding the perfect spot found it eventually but it was a bit annoying just went for a little drive came back it's a lot of water slapped that I'm just sitting on the seat. Oh! <laughs> I've hurt my foot for some reason. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's killing me though. Alrighty, so it's our last night at Rockingham. I've decided to go for a fish. Uh, so I'm going for a surf fish. Apparently, I'm going to Point Piran, so apparently they can get Taylor here, uh, salmon. There's another species of fish that 
that's commonly caught here. I can't remember. I was reading it up. So I got my pillies, got me rods, and I'm ready to go. I'm absolutely hanging to catch a tailor. I'm hoping that I get one. I'm, I'm, I really, I really do hope so. I've been seeing blue painted trees everywhere. Well, what, what is, what are they? What do they mean? Is it, does it mean something or is it just for show? I'd love to know what it means. I'm somewhere called Cape Pierin. Not Point Pierin. It's taking me to the wrong spot, but I thought I'd give it a go here anyway. I don't know where I should try. Anyone's got any tips for me on how to use those gang hooks? Because I am shocking at putting the bait on that. If anyone's got any tips for me on how to actually do it properly, please let me know. I'm struggling hard. I just cast a dish. Is that a dead fish? What? What? How? He's alive? That is the smallest fish I've ever caught in my life. What is that? First cast on the lure, and I've got a fish. What is that? I thought it was dead. That is weird. Uh, yeah. He's almost, he's almost the same size as the lure. What? Hang on. Oh, no. Yeah. Looks small. Oh, it came off. Oh, it came off. It's all right. At least I know they're here. Good sign. Come on, yes. Come on. Stay on the hook. Stay on the hook. Yes! What is it? Oh, it just came off. Is that a salmon? I think that is a salmon. I feel like a baby salmon. Good sign. Good sign. How nice did the sun look over the mountain. Now it is getting dark, so I'm gonna try to film as much as I can try and film in the dark with probably if I get a fish, I'll get my phone torch out and show you what we get. Now I'll still turn the camera on, but I don't know what you're gonna see. So let's see how we go. Yes. What the hell is that? Holy shit. What is that? Oh my god. <gasps> what the hell was that? No. I've never had a fish take line like that. Oh, I'm spewing. Oh my god. I've never ever had a fish take a line like that. Oh. I'm spewing. Oh. Was, whatever that was, took everything. Leader. Ah. Oh. My lure, I'm spewing. What the hell was that? 
Can anyone tell me what the hell that is now? I've never seen one of them before in my life. What the hell is that? Sorry man. You can go back in. Hope you made it. That scared the shit out of me. I thought it was just weed and I grabbed it and it started moving. I'm back at the caravan. I can't stop thinking about what that fish was. I've never hooked onto a fish that's taken line like that. Unless I foul hooked it and it wasn't as big as what I thought it was. But, mate, he was just powering. Lost two lures. I'm devastated. Oh. The time will come. I'll get one eventually. <laughs>